Also now new on the 19, more than two dozen people are facing charges in what investigators are calling an international scheme to drug racehorses to make them run faster. One of them is the trainer of last year's derby contender, Maximum Security. The 19's Jesse Cohen traveled to Lexington to talk to the experts there about the details of this indictment. Maximum Security, the horse that crossed the finish line first in last year's Kentucky Derby, but then got disqualified, is now at the center of an FBI sting. His trainer, Jason Service, one of 27 people indicted by the U.S. Attorney for the Southern District in New York. All involved in the cruel and systematic doping of racehorses across the United States and indeed around the world using misbranded, adulterated, and dangerous performance-enhancing drugs. A three-year investigation now on display. More than two dozen trainers, veterinarians, and drug reps in Florida, New Jersey, and New York being charged with buying and selling drugs that are considered performance enhancers for horses. It's very kind of almost appalling that people went to such great efforts to avoid the detection or the use. Uh, they used third parties for shipment. Scott Stanley, an equine expert at the University of Kentucky, says these allegations represent extremely risky behavior. You don't want to experiment with your high-end performance horse. It's a dangerous proposition. Dozens of pages outline the alleged illegal behavior, highlighting one horse in particular, XY Jet. The indictment says he was given 50 injections and died of a possible heart attack. But if those were in fact all true, you know, the horse was getting 50 injections, saying even 50 days in a row, that would not be anything close to a normal therapy that you would expect a horse to receive. The one drug repeatedly acknowledged is SGF-1000. That stands for super growth factor, which Stanley says is not industry standard. He also says the ingredients in that concoction are not known. It's not FDA approved. There, there is no literature or science uh, to my knowledge. While he says the indictment is damning, it's not representative of usual culture. What I'd like to everybody to know is this represents a relatively or a very small segment of the industry. Now, Scott Stanley says we should expect to see some reform changes with these drugs because currently the drugs listed in that indictment can be found online. Reporting at the University of Kentucky, I'm Jesse Cohen with WHAS 11 News.